going on trucking fam it's been a minute since i dropped a brief video Whew. yeah i know life you know i hope everybody's out there doing well Let's see if my mic is up yeah i got the headset mic hope everybody's out there doing well over the roads um i forgot to do a review on this company prima express you probably won't find a review on this company it's a small company out of joliet illinois it's a great company to work for i worked for them back in march um things I had going on in my life at that time I really couldn't settle and be a driver for them like I wanted to but they are a great company they started me out at 60 cent a mile um, they do require could have changed they do require that you have I want to say three to six months of winter driving three to six months of winter driving um, they pay you for all of your experience that's a positive about them let me see that's what they did for me um, they fly you they fly you to uh, Illinois they put you in a nice nice hotel like very nice <laughs> uh, when you check in your room you have a a little baggie there welcoming you it's a personal message it's really nice um, it's not a big orientation type class is probably I was only I was the only driver that flew up and got hired orientation was like two days to get you in you do have to get their DOT physical even if you just got one and they pay for all that no hold up do they pay for that I think you have to pay for your own DOT physical you gotta understand that they're a very small company but yeah I think you have they might have changed that like I said I drove for them back in March um, it's a probably it's a very small terminal very small terminal but they get you in and they get you out I was up there orientation Monday I was in my truck Wednesday out of there they have a lot of direct freight customers with the warehouses up there um, a lot of their loads are already preloaded a lot of the loads are dropping hook um, coming out of there I would have a preloaded trailer delivering down south I would have a uh, you know I have to wait to get loaded because I'm on my home time uh, they're normally a OTR company but honestly they try their best to get me to stay um, they asked me did I want to be home on the weekends they did get me home. I asked to be home. No problem. No, well, we got to do this and got to do that. They did get me home when I needed to be home. Um, they would do anything to keep you there in a positive way. I forgot most of the guys' names, but they are a hell of a company to work for. I forgot. Uh, one of the recruiters reached out to me. I think he found my application. And um, I, like I said, I never heard anything about them. But they are, yeah, they have the Intellers and all that. They are a great company to work for. I had a 2020 Freightliner. I think all their trucks are automatic. Uh, let's see, the shop, let me go down this office positions. There's about eight to 10 people working in their terminal shop. It's a two to three truck bay, real small. Um, you normally go there every time you go back up to Illinois to drop off and when I say dropping off it's like they have the dedicated lanes up there so you pretty much you're gonna be dropping off and picking up from the same warehouse 90% of the time when I learned what how they ran so I, my route was out of Illinois pick up Illinois go to the terminal pick up a preloaded that's coming down they do a lot of Walmart loads yeah they do a lot of Walmart loads <laughs> And they do a lot of loads out of um, Pennsylvania that picks up that paper, paper bales, taking that up to Illinois. So, yeah, I didn't have a problem with them. They're very professional. All of them were respectful. I wish I could have stayed. Um, you know, just the timing. You know, just I needed to be home more. And uh, I would work for them again. I would, honestly. But, yeah, if you're looking for a new company that somebody can vouch for, Trust me, the orientation is in and out. Uh, you will be on the truck after orientation. Um, 
it's just one on one with one of the offers uh, members that goes over a small packet with you the, what I didn't like about the company was you had to pay into a truck damage escrow I think it's like $50 a week because a lot of guys you know they turn the truck in and something damaged so and I think that was up to good gracious I forgot I forgot what the amount was but if you quit and turn your truck back in and your truck is not damaged they do give you that but I forgot what, how much they take out but it's $50 a week I understand you know a lot of guys turn in you're a small company a lot of guys turn the truck in they damage something so yeah you should be responsible for damaging somebody's property when you know a lot of guys drive trucks and don't care because it's not their trucks um they kind of got like a weird per diem type pay it's per diem but it's it was weird to me it took me a minute to figure it out um but yeah so if you want to give them guys a shot man I, I, I advise you to I don't know if that recruiter is still there I forgot a lot of stuff man I should have dropped this video when I was working with him but yeah Prima Express let me see rates contact us let me see how you contact them yeah, it's customer stuff, shipping, services, uh, expedited shipping. Yeah, it's just a small company. Small company. Scale of one to f five stars, I would get them four. I would get them four and a half stars. Really, trust me. If I had to go back to work right now, I would give them a call. But yeah, y'all be easy. Stay safe out there on the road, and be blessed.